Hello, this is Piet Levy, music writer with Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. With your recap of Beyonce and Jay-Z's On The Run tour at Soldier Field in Chicago on July 24th, 2014. It was one year and two days ago that Jay-Z was performing the Bears football stadium with Justin Timberlake as his co-headliner. And one of the biggest issues with that show was the minimal chemistry between the two. But if the divorce rumors between Beyonce and Jay-Z could be believed, although maybe they shouldn't, was it possible he'd have actually weaker chemistry with his wife? Beyonce herself stirred speculation, singing the cheated on ballad resentment in a wedding dress with pain and power. And as she's done on recent dates, she changed the lyric to reflect the number of years she's been with Jay-Z. And she saved her most direct physical chemistry for a Jay's lounge with a risque silhouetted dance number for partition. And the pair honestly didn't fare much better in the chemistry department than Jay-Z and JT. But at the same time, the show was instructed to allow any downtime or spontaneity, and Jay and Bay were swapping spots on stage, occasionally backing each other up for two and a half hours and 40 plus songs, with several songs reduced to crowd-pleasing cameos. But this was still a far better show than the Jay-Z, JT jaunt, thanks to the woman at the center of the show. Timberlake is a superstar, no doubt, but Beyonce was by far the greater entertainer, between her aggressive full-body dance routines for songs like Single Ladies, Flawless, Run the World Girls, Raise an Alarm, and more, and her consistently strong, often striking vocals, particularly for Why Don't You Love Me, and she had really gripping guest vocals for Holy Grail, which featured Justin Timberlake in the original version, and topped that uh, rendition very easily. And while Jay-Z didn't express much direct chemistry with his wife, he was still perhaps inspired by her showmanship. The strength of his swagger so picked, like Izzo, Dirt Off My Shoulder, and I Just Want to Love You, Give It to Me, those inspired stadium-wide sing-alongs and dance-offs last year, and of course it happened again this year, except this time Jay-Z performed with greater command and animation. The third star at the spectacle was the production of the show itself, flawlessly executed. Songs were reimagined to flow seamlessly into each other. Beyonce's If I Were a Boy, for instance, took on a dark, edgy tone to complement Jay-Z's preceding 99 problems. And every image on the gigantic screens were injected with drama and calculation. From the sweeping tracking shots of Beyonce and her dancers, to the way the camera quaked for a dramatic hair tossel, to the edgy and arty video montages that cast Jay-Z and Beyonce's modern-day Body and Clyde, and recalled the aesthetic of Oliver Stone, David Fincher, and Christopher Nolan. The videos even took care of some of the chemistry problem that was missing live on the stage. You can read a full review and see photos from the show and more at tapmilwaukee.com, and you can find other concert listings, recommended restaurants, and other Milwaukee happenings on the Best of Bruce of the app, available at the iTunes and Google Play stores.